I'm out here at Shriners Iris. I'm with Ben. Ben, the gardens are in full bloom and they're spectacular. You know, the fields are open, they're cut, and you guys have a festival this weekend. It's continuing. Yes, this Memorial Day weekend we have an artist fair. Uh, we're going to have wine tasting. Uh, Spiritopia is going to be out here. We're going to have cider tasting. So a lot going on and the garden's going to be at peak bloom. It is, you know, they're, you know, as we're walking around, you know, things are still, there's a lot of color left, left in the gardens. You know, we've had such a cool spring leading up to this. that things are kind of extending a little longer than they have in the past. Definitely. I think things are probably about two weeks behind this year. Um, so that's going to put peak bloom, like I said, right on Memorial Day weekend. So, which, which is, you know, very advantageous for people that want to, want to come out. So, you know, if people are looking for, you know, you said, you know, list a whole bunch of activities that are going on, you know, where, where should they go to go find this information? You could head over to our website, ShrinersGardens.com, um, and you can also check our uh, Facebook and Instagram uh, social media pages. Right, because you're doc talking a little earlier, you know, with the, with the delay, there might be a delay in the festival going on a little bit longer too, potentially, just depending on, on the weather. Yeah, I think we're still deciding whether to extend the, the open garden, um, but definitely check our Facebook and Instagram pages for updates on that. And so, you know, people that have not been out yet, you know, this is kind of their, the big hurrah for the, for the season to, to come out. And you, you mentioned some activities that they, they could do, but what can they expect, you know, when they, when they come out here, you know, to, to be able to do for the afternoon? Well, we have two display gardens. We're standing in the main garden right here, um, all together about 10 acres. Um, we have a flower show with um, all the iris that are blooming in the field on display. It's undercover. Uh, we have a gift shop, uh, planted, uh, plant uh, sale area, cut flowers. Um, and then there's also a small field that uh, you can walk through as well. So Ben, you talked about, you know, you can pick up cut flowers. But there's a little bit of some tips that you have about how to make that cut flower bouquet last. Definitely. So you can kind of what we call deadhead. So when the when the each flower kind of fades, you just snap that off, take it or remove it from the stem, and it'll give room for the next bud to kind of open up on there. So it's a great time, you know, to come out and you know and see what these you know plants are looking like blooming, and you know take take in your notes, and then you know potentially order for next year. <laughs> Definitely. And the, the one of the best things about the garden here is you can actually kind of see what they would look like in your garden because there's right. tons of companion plants here too. So it's not just iris. You can see the lupin, allium, columbine, tons of companions. Right. Because I'm assuming you get a lot of people asking about you know these other flowers. Do you sell those too? But like you said, it's more about having the companion plantings and how, to, how they would look in your garden. Definitely, definitely. Um, we do sell allium uh, on our website, mail okay. order, um, but most of, the, most of the things in here is just for display and to give context for what it may look like in the home garden. Right, because you know, who would not want a border of plants looking like this in, in their garden, especially filled with all the iris. Absolutely. And so, you know, when they, uh, best information to go to as far as for ticketing and, and admittance, can they just show up or do they need to do it all on, online? Uh, tickets are going to be purchased ahead of time online. And again, if you check out ShrinersGardens.com, uh, there's information on ticketing there. Okay. And we, you know, we've talked a lot about, you know, exit 263 on how to get here. So what's, what's the best directions on how to, how to get down to the gardens down here? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the best directions I would say is probably use like Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you could you take the Brooks exit if you're coming down from Portland. Yeah. Um, and then it just really just like five minutes off the highway. Right, because you can come come hit you guys, you can go up to Adelman's, you can go down to Egan's, you can go to, you know, Seabright. So there's so much to do down in this, in this great weekend to come see all this Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely, you could easily make a day out of it. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, for, you know, for more information on, you know, the gardens and come down to see Shriner, make sure you check out the all the color that's in bloom right now. Go to gardentime.tv or you can click over to your website and come out and make, make a weekend out of it. So, Ben, thanks for having us out today. Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you.